The surge in oil prices due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine has once again made a compelling case for alternative sources of energy. Today, CNBC TV18 has travelled around 400 km from New Delhi to the middle of Thar Desert here in Bikaner to give you a glimpse of one such form of clean energy, the green hydrogen. And for that, here is an exclusive report from India's first operational green hydrogen energy plant of the Acme Group. Hydrogen is the simplest element and the most abundant substance in the universe. One way to produce hydrogen is through electrolysis or the generation of hydrogen from water. When the energy used to power electrolysis comes from renewable sources like wind, water or solar, it is called green hydrogen. In this case, the solar energy is used to power electrolysis or in other words to produce hydrogen from water. For the solar energy, the panels are adjusted to get the maximum radiation of the sun. This solar energy is then converted into electrical energy to power the electrolyzer. The electrolyzer is the main component of a green hydrogen energy plant. It uses almost 85% of the electricity generated by the solar panels. With water as raw material and electricity from solar energy as fuel, the electrolyzer bifurcates water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is emitted back into the air and can make a case of medical oxygen in future, while the hydrogen proceeds towards the ammonia synthesis plant after purification. Simultaneously, as hydrogen atoms don't exist on their own and are almost always stuck to another element, nitrogen is extracted from the air and then the nitrogen and purified hydrogen are compressed at the ammonia synthesis plant. The gaseous mixture of nitrogen and hydrogen are filled in these bullet storage tanks. After temperature and pressure adjustments, the gaseous mixture is converted into liquid ammonia and is exported to companies, suppliers from sectors ranging from steel to fertilizers. Globally, the world is looking at ways to resolve the issues related to climate change. Back home, India has also made its intentions clear with the National Hydrogen Mission, whereby it has set a production target of 5 million tonne of green hydrogen by the year 2030 and has also voluntarily committed to net zero emissions by the year 2070 at the COP26 summit. Globally, there is technically no challenge except this price rise which has happened in 18 months. We do believe that it will get settled. For India, uh, I must tell you that uh, 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 the biggest challenge will be the competition. Competition not from any individual or company, from the countries. For example, Middle East countries have 15 percent higher radiation than us. Chile has 20 percent higher radiation than us. And they have a larger piece of the land. So if they produce cheaper than us, the global market, in the global market, we will find difficult to compete. None of these countries have the size of the grid what we have. So what it means is our plant here, especially the ammonia plant or hydrogen plant can operate 24 hours using the grid banking. No other country can offer because they do not have that big, big capacity in the grid. Industry experts say that green hydrogen has the potential to become a multi-trillion dollar market. But the key challenge here is affordability. Currently, green hydrogen is four to five times more expensive than the carbon generating alternatives. Once the cost is brought down, this sector has the potential to change India's energy landscape completely, the country which is currently heavily dependent on fossil fuels. This is Anu Sharma reporting from Bikaner with camera person Hridaya Patra for CNBC TV 18. Thank you.